Hello everyone, Gene Molina here from Natural Tennis Solutions. We are talking about the ground reaction force and this becomes the tennis throw. So I'm showing you a movement here. I'm gonna call it the tennis throw because of the fact that it's throwing, but it's for tennis. So it's not the typical throwing way that throw a baseball. Um, it's more of a tennis throw. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna take two balls and we're gonna hold them here. Oh, by the way, I'm hoping you guys have been practicing your ground reaction force on video number one with the step. So if I set myself up, I want to set myself up facing the court and then I want to make sure that I turn and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this ball but I'm doing this with my body. So I'm going to pull back and if you see what my arm does it goes back further, pull back and throw and then now I'm in this position when I finished and now I can pull back and throw. So it becomes an exercise. You can have a bunch of balls in your pocket, have two ready, and then as soon as you set up, you can go back, throw, throw, and then throw, throw, and then throw, throw. So we're throwing the ball, but we're moving our body. So again, technique, doesn't fall into this, it's body movement. So the way you move your body is how you get this to work. So as long as you understand that it's taking the thinking out of it and it's just showing you how to move your body a certain way to get it done, then that's the key. So right now I do the tennis throw and I can do it at a certain speed. If I go faster, I can throw it further. So right now if I just go from this position and I try to go faster, meaning I'm going to use my legs and push off the ground faster and rotate my hip faster, I can actually throw further and throw further. Now when you do this, you're going to see that you're probably going to release the ball a little late sometimes and the ball is going to go that way or that way. I've practiced this enough that I'm pretty good at it. so. Um, if the ball sprays to the side, don't worry. That's just because you're releasing the ball a little late. And remember, it doesn't matter how well we throw this ball. It's about using the racket to hit it, but feeling this movement. So this movement is what matters during this. All right, I'm going to grab my racket really quick, and then we will continue. I will show you the next piece. No editing involved, just learning. All right, so if I grab my racket and I pretend like I'm gonna throw that ball again and I do this, there's with the right and here goes with the left. So here goes with the left. So I set up with the right and I push out, set up with the left and I push out. So right now I wanna set myself up to hit this ball and hit it the way I just felt the way I was throwing the ball. So I'll just bounce it over here and I will throw and then I can set it up on the left side, throw, and it's just doing the movement. Same movement we did before. Does not matter if you hit the ball in or out. Feel what you're trying to feel and just go. So as long as you're feeling what you need to feel, that's what matters. Now, if you talk about a regular stroke, I set up, I turn, and I go. I set up, turn, and I go. If it's a one-handed backhand, you can change it to this, where you, you will, if you're a right-hander, you can hold it on your right, and then you can do this. So notice, I pull the hip back so my left hip pulls and my arm gets pulled back pull the hip back and toss 
So that becomes the one-handed throw if you want to practice a one-hander. So I pull back and everything is about winding it up, right? So I wound it up and then I threw it. If it's a lefty one-hander, same difference, back and throw. It's all a matter of getting your legs and your hips to do the work. So if I set this up and I'm setting up in a normal setup to go through my forehand, this is what it should look like. I'm here and I go through. If I want to do it lefty, lefty forehand, I'm here and I go through. One hander, I'm here and I go through. So I'm trying to get myself, oh, actually let's do the two hander on the backhand side here. Here and go through. It's always about the leg and the hip first. This is the most fundamental piece of using the ground reaction force. Get the legs to do the work. As long as you're doing that, you're setting up the fundamentals and the foundation. Because once you get to the point of your upper body letting go enough, you're gonna feel the easy power. Now what you can do here is you can always go through speeds. Go through a slow speed when you go through, right? If I want to do this with my racket and not hit a ball, you can actually feel this momentum, right? It just goes through, goes through, goes through, goes through. And then I can do my backhand, one-hander, one-hander, two-hander, Forehand, two-hander, it's about the legs and the hip doing the work. If you're not leading your upper body with your legs and your hip when you swing, then you're not going to get the full amount of potential power that you can get on your stroke. You should be able to do this in slow motion and get yourself to get a decent amount of power. We don't have to do this fast. Slow motion is good enough. You can start out fast and see how it goes, see how free it feels, but then to rein it in a little bit so you can control it, it goes down to a slow motion type of speed. All right, so let me know how it goes. Check it out and I will see you on the next one.